So the first step to knowing what happens when you drink water and where that water goes is to know how much water there normally is in the body. So the average person is about 70 kilograms, which is 150 something pounds. And do you know what percentage of that weight is gonna be water? Well, it turns out that we're about 60% water. So that means that if we wanna know how much water would be in this body, we need to multiply by 0.6, which gives us 42 kilograms. And one liter of water weighs one kilogram. So this is equivalent to 42 liters of water. So that's how much water is in the average person. And now let's ask where is that water normally in the average person? So it turns out that there's two different places where this fluid can be. It can either be inside cells, like for example your muscle cells that I'm drawing here, or potentially liver cells that I'm drawing here. It can either be in the cells or it can be around them. Cells are always bathing in water, and so that's another place where fluid can reside. So how is our 42 liters divided into these two different sections? Well, it turns out actually that most of it, actually about two thirds is inside cells. So that makes up about 28 liters and the rest is outside of cells. So that's one third or 14 liters. Now the part that's inside cells, we like to call the intracellular compartment. And the part that's outside cells, we call the extracellular compartment. And the fact that we call them compartments suggests that they are somehow sealed off from one another. And they actually are, because around every cell, there's a cell membrane. And so the intracellular compartment is separate from the extracellular compartment by a cell membrane. At the same time, it might seem weird to talk about one intracellular compartment because we have trillions of cells. And so really, you might think that we have trillions of little compartments. And that's technically true, but because the inside of all cells is very similar in terms of fluid and ions and solutes, we like to think of all those cells collectively as one compartment. 